You're going to be in my YouTube video. Oh, yay. You're going to be in mine. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Huh? We're going to uh, make a compost pile. You want to come? No? All right. Well, get back to your chicken business. Nacogdoches two and a half years ago from Dallas. We lived there for way too long and now we you know we moved here, started the farm, we grow as much as we can, we keep rabbits, chickens, ducks, goats, and we sell out at the farmer's market. Awesome. Yeah, the sand puts the fire out. Yeah. And then you're left with the black charcoal bits. Yeah, left with a lot of black charcoal bits and a lot of sand, but the sand's good for the garden too. Yeah. It helps get some good drainage for the compost. But it's more about the charcoal. Now, what, what was the term you used for the charcoal? Oh, a three-dimensional carbon matrix in which microorganisms can thrive. All this just totally reduced to charcoal. A little bit of wood in there. Fortunately, you're not destroying the rainforest just to make this charcoal, so don't worry, folks. As you can see, there's miles and miles of woods and twigs to go, so. Yeah, what's funny is we, we harvest these branches, a lot of them, and give them to the goats, and the goats eat all the leaves and bark and whatnot off, and then we turn what's left over into charcoal for the garden. Got enough there? That's a bucket. That's a bucket. What a pretty bird. Yeah. Who's your buddy? Oh, is that one of your girlfriends? Hi. Oh, ho, ho. how sweet. Is that a buff Orphington there, that tan one? Crooked tail. That's a plump bird. Now this is the bird house that you the bird house, the chicken house, or the, the sheep house, the goat house. Oh, this is the chicken house we built out of pallets. You made a video for that, didn't you? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so I think it's a three or four part series. A three or four part series, ooh. I'm gonna get a good wheelbarrow of chicken manure to add to the compost box. Excellent. They sure are happy goats, man. I I remember when I first came over here, they wouldn't let me get too close at all, but now they just, they seem like little dogs. Yeah, I know. They've got a lot more comfortable. They're a lot like dogs, except they're better than dogs. Chickens in their natural habitat. Jungle chickens. The actual... This is from my grandma's. We work in my grandma's yard and we have a section of her yard that's like compost on site before we transfer it over here. Oh. We blow all the leaves into this big pile way in the back and run them, run them, run them over with the mower until they're just shredded up into absolute pulpy little bits. Oh, beautiful. Let me get in close and see that. Yeah, this is like four, five, six bags of leaves all chopped up. Into one bag. One bag. This stuff. Oh, yeah. Here. That won't take any time at all. That's compost ready. Right on. Beautiful. That's just right out of the bag. You've got green grass, chopped up leaves. Oh yeah, that's that's your green and your brown right there together. So nice. These are these leaves were wet when we put them in here, so they're just even, so they've only been in the bag for two days and they're already heated up. <laughs> all right, well, I carried this all over here for him because I want to help him out and get my workout on. So uh, what are we gonna do there, Josh man? All right, so Tim today. We are filling up one third of a compost box. In the bottom here, we've got a bunch of gourd vines and- I watched that gourd video. Yeah. That was a trip. 
how many big gourds, like 150 gourds, something crazy like that? Close, closer to 300, it was like 256 that day. Man, you gotta watch that video, go back a couple videos on his channel, and every time he reaches in, they pull out another gourd, it's, it's crazy. So they got a lot of gourd work. A lot of gourds. Okay, so this is all the gourd vines in, in the bottom of the bed there. Oh, some of them. Some of them, a lot of them. Yeah. So now we're gonna put down a layer of shredded leaves and grass. Shredded leaves and grass. Yeah, Beautiful. So dump one of those bags in there. All right. Now we roll them back up and refill them with yard waste over and over yeah, and over. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, of course. So you'd have to. You'd have to because these are the heavy duty Judy bags. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're good ones. What's funny oh. is when we drove around in the fall last year to build the leaf canal. Yeah. There's so many leaves around here. I started to be picky about which kinds of bags I would pick up. Oh yeah, don't pick up the cheap bags if you want to reuse them. Yeah, so yeah, if right. you're going to pilfer people's lawn clippings, get the good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So on top of these leaves, we're going to put a couple shovels of chicken manure. Excellent. You can tell it's chicken manure because it has little bitty feathers in it. And a little bitty feathers. They, they gotta be good for soil too. They must be some. Oh, yeah. That's nature, folks. It's beautiful. Well, see, you just you have everything it takes pretty much right here on the property. You know, you've got bunnies, chickens, and the little baba goats. You're not really collecting any goat poo, are you? No. You can't chase them down. And we get them to go in the same spot. The only thing we could do is get some of those nanny bags for them. Oh, you hang little butt bags on yeah. them? I need one of those. Chicken manure. All right. And then this is some of the ash and charcoal that you collected, right? Yeah. Ash, charcoal, a little bit of topsoil. Man, this year is a beautiful day for the 1st of December. So nice. 1st of December. It's unbelievable. I'd like to thank Al Gore for this global warming. And this, this is, however, goat manure in this bucket. Now that looks pretty nasty. This is goat manure. This is like a sloppy paste. <laughs> this is what we scrape out from under their house when we move it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me that. And then we let it get filled up with rainwater. Which is natural. Until it's just this beautiful mud. Those, those goat pellets, they don't even really break down. They, they all look like good and plenty, or raisinets. Oh, yeah. oh, look at how that's. Oh, yeah. Man, you could plant stuff in that right now. Yeah, there was stuff growing in it. Even though it was a soupy mess, you could see stuff coming up in it. Okay, you guys compost completely different than, than, than high compost. I make a, li a little pile and add stuff to it and turn it and add a little more stuff to it. You guys basically have the space with these big beds just to, to put it out there and, and stack it high and, and just let it be. You, you don't, you're not concerned with coming out here and turning it or any of that stuff, are you? You're, you're, not really. No. No. Because no, we'll mix a lot of coarse stuff in here too. And now that we've got this layer down, we're gonna take all the dead stalks from the asparagus up there uh -huh. and chop them up and layer them in here to help give it some structure. Right. So it doesn't just collapse as fast. Turn into a hard mud yeah. pie. Is that now? These, these are these are like a little asparagus sprouts. Do those start from the seeds that dropped off of the ferny things? Yeah, these little red berries right here. Okay, so people can grow them from those red berries or they can grow them from the, the crowns. Yeah, you can see there's a couple seeds in that one. This is our asparagus right here, and it is basically done for the year. So we're going to cut all these stalks off, chop them up, and put them in a compost box. Excellent. It's about half the asparagus stalks for this layer. I'm just going to chop them up just a little bit. That won't have any problem breaking down. That's not like branches or anything. It's well, everything. Everything turns back in the day. Yeah, that's the truth, Ruth. No one gets out alive. Okay, well, we'll get back to you after he's done chopping. Okay, now what's next? Um, I don't know. Let's just dump another bag of grass and leaves. All right. How about this? Is that grandma's? Yeah, we're still looking for the top. Okay, okay. so but that was next. This one's next. All right. Here's my part. <laughs> I'll work out. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, hey, that's good, too. Green oh, yeah. and brown. Oh, look at these leaves. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's like all you need to compost right there, really. Beautiful. So that's pretty much all you've done in all these big beds here. It's all just, the beds. You yeah. never really brought any topsoil in. 
in bulk or anything like that. So all this right here is just grass, weeds, and manure. Man, that's beautiful. Black gold! You, know, you can see the bits of charcoal still in uh -huh. these beds. Okay, let me get that. Ladies and gentlemen, black gold. See that bed right there already has the stuff. And what was that? Three months ago, six months ago, a year ago that you put that in? We made this a year ago. A year ago, we okay. We started this bed about this time last year. Right on. And then after it all has time to cook down and we grow out of it, we take the bottom third and fold it back into the top two thirds to bring it back up to level. Oh, okay. We'll That's why you're filling out the bottom third here. I see. That's brilliant. Well, here, let me pan, 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 and then show you all the beds he's got. Look at them. They go all the way up. Have we got 12 now. 13. Thir lucky 13, folks. And you got a video where you made one of these boxes on camera. Real simple, really. It's kind of inexpensive, too. Those are just uh, uh, fence boards, right? That's, like, that's everything you need right over there. 70 bucks. 70 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. A couple two-by-fours. And uh, all of this is pine straw on top of cardboard as a weed barrier. And, uh, man, it just works perfect out here. These these beds, you don't have much weeding at all, do you? No, very, very little. Very little. You know, any bare soil you leave bare. Yeah. For very long going to grow weeds. Well, you've got everything covered up nice here. All right, so where are we at now? All right, we got these leaves down. We're going to do another layer of charcoal, ash topsoil, goat manure, chicken manure. And just Any other poop you might find? Any, anything you got. All right. So you just added uh, another layer of some, uh, out of a bag, it looks like some grass and some pine needles. And you say that's going to help keep it fluffed up. Yeah, and then we'll be sure to put a layer of ashes and charcoal on top of this. Uh -huh. The ashes help break down the pine needles fat. Oh, 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 wow. So this is the last of that magical goat poo. Oh, don't. <laughs> And then here comes grandma's special graded leaves, like grandma's secret formula. Wow. Look at, boy, that's a good topper right there, yeah. huh? It just keeps all the flies away. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps the smell down. It keeps Man, that, that, that's a, a beautiful process. What, now we spent like a, you know, a half hour putting this together. You could have done it a whole lot quicker if I wasn't here blabbing. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, not much work. And, uh, of course, you gotta have all the ingredients. Lots of layers. Layers, Jerry. Yeah. Layers. Some more layers. Just put a little bit in and keep keep layering it. It'll do better if it's all kind of mixed in really good. Yeah, well, it's definitely been layered well. It's not like you're going to have a big clump of any one thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and here comes the water. Yep. Yeah, wash off some of that funk, dude. Awesome. That's where I, I think, did I meet you guys at the farmer's market? You did. You did. Yeah. Oh, that's Pretty right. Sick. That was our first time to ever go to the farmer's market when we met you. Well, I sure do dig you guys. You're my good farming buddies. You've always been real nice to me. Don't squirt me now. Well, hey, thanks a lot for showing me how you do all this stuff. Oh, yeah, it's really fun. We're really glad you came out here and helped. <laughs> I love coming out here, all the little animals and everything. Uh, like I said, go look at the video, uh, Josh and Mandy. And uh, I'll try to leave a link for it. Check out their channel. Go give them some love and uh, subscribe and, and hit the bell because they, they need encouragement just like me. And uh, I know I've already got some uh, friends that are, are co-mingling or co-watching and we appreciate it. And uh, well, cool, Mandy, come on and get in the shot here so everyone can see you again before I, I, I unplug. Hey, now. Yeah, and go check out Tim's channel. Yeah, just, him. it's just Tim Hogle, H-O-G-L-E. It'd probably be easier to find them through me. And maybe if they're nice, they'll leave a link to one of my videos or something. He grows amazing things in his garden. He's and so, hey, thanks a lot for checking out this video. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you next time in the garden. See you later. Bye. Bye.